Hi everyone. Today we will discuss something unique and less heard of which is hypergraphs. But before we can start off with graphs. You all must already know about graphs. So, graph is a sort of diagram which represents a system of connections. Usually graph is represented in this way. Now, in this representation, we represent this graph with G. This V represents the set of vertices which are this, this, and this. And E represents the set of edges which are this and this. Now, the set of edges that is a relation between a pair of vertices. For example, this edge is between this vertex and this vertex. Now, this edge can either be directed or undirected. In this example, we have seen an undirected edge. If this would have been from a vertex A to vertex B with an arrow, we would have said that it is a directed edge. Now considering these things in mind, we will see how is hypergraph different from graph. Now by definition, a hypergraph is a generalization of a graph in which an edge can join any number of vertices. In contrast, in an ordinary graph, an edge connects exactly two vertices as we just discussed. There are different notations for hypergraph in literature, but we are going to follow this notation where H will be the name of the hypergraph represented as H. V will, v will still be the same and still represent the vertices of the hypergraph and F represents the hyperedge set where each hyperedge is a set of vertices. That is, if we draw an H, it will be like this. A, B and C forming hyperedge. C, D and E forming another hyperedge. This is how an hypergraph is made. Now, let us talk about a special type of hypergraph that is a uniform hypergraph or a k-uniform hypergraph where a hypergraph such that all its hyperedges have size k we call it as k-uniform hypergraph for example we have drawn this edge this is a three uniform hypergraph because all its hyperedges are of size three now this is a theorem that Two uniform hypergraph is a graph as we can see that if in a hypergraph all these hyperedges are of size 2 then it is equivalent to the edge set and hence it reduces to a graph as we can see that if this hypergraph would have been A, B and C where all these hyperedges were of size 2 then this hypergraph reduces to this graph as we can see. We will look at why we need hypergraphs and some other interesting things about hypergraphs in the next video. Thank you.